I know that I exist. If you ask me, if I exist? I will answer, yes. Of course I exist. This knowledge, this awareness of existence, can be defined as consciousness. Awareness contains self-awareness, which perceives the internal world of thoughts, reflection, imagination, emotions, and daydreaming. As well as external awareness, which perceives the outside world with the help of the five senses. Traditionally, we assess consciousness by observing behavior. If someone is awake and acts meaningfully, we have little doubt he is conscious. In medicine, consciousness defined as patient's arousal, alertness and responsiveness. If patient has adequate reflexes, answers questions correctly, and well-coordinated in time and space, then she is conscious. Glasgow Coma Scale is used to assess the level of person's consciousness after brain injury. If human is not conscious and no adequate reaction on pain, light or other stimuli, this state is called coma. I know I am conscious, I am seeing, hearing, feeling something here, inside my own head. But animals also have such feelings? Definitive answer is difficult, because animals lacking the ability to express human language, they cannot tell humans about their experiences and difficult to observe their subjective feelings if they have them at all. But metacognitive and confidence reports can also be obtained from trained monkeys and other animals. With so many similarities to our own reports, that there is little doubt as to the presence of consciousness. It is important question, because denial that an animal is conscious means it does not feel its life has no value and that harming it is not morally wrong. Although, most people have a strong intuition, that some animals, such as cats and dogs, are conscious, while others, such as insects, are not, we do not know if this intuition is true or false. Consciousness can be visualized as human mind function. It receives and processes information with five senses, sight, hearing, smell, taste and touch. Generates any emotion or imagination about the information he got judges and crystallizes it, with the reasoning ability of mind. And memory stores or rejects it. Hold as complex function as consciousness. Frontoparietal connectivity and the thalamus are considered the most important neural correlates of consciousness. Frontoparietal connectivity is implicated in maintaining awareness, in attention and in behavioral selection of incoming and stored information. The thalamus is the final relay station for perceptual data before reaching the cortex. It also plays a key role by modulating cortical activity. The thalamus and cortex are connected in a reciprocal manner and this connection seems responsible for higher cognitive processes.